Today on 29, I'm finally cooking that lasagna I promised about three weeks ago. Let's do it. So I got all the ingredients. I got my brother Michael helping as well because he's a better cook in the family and see how it goes. So. We'll start off with uh, the ingredients for the ragu. And the ingredients are eight pieces of short ribs, one medium sized onion diced, one carrot diced, two celery sticks sliced thin, five garlic cloves minced, one cup of red wine, one can of crushed tomato, two tablespoons of fresh basil, salt and pepper, and two teaspoons of sugar. First step is to cook the ribs on high to sear them. Season them with salt and pepper as well. So, I can do some of that. so searing one side, cooking it over to seal the other side in. Once seared, room from heat, throw in onion, celery, carrot, carrots, and garlic. Cook this for about five minutes on the medium heat. Once I cook up, putting the ribs back in. Well, tomatoes, two teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of fresh basil, and the red wine. Time to slow cook for two to three hours. So now that we've got the ragu cooking, we'll start on the Swiss, the Swiss bechamel. This is going to be an inside lasagna and helps give it that bulk. Two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, three cups of milk, one cup of Swiss cheese, quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons of parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste. And we'll pour it into the bowl. All right, I gotta leave it there because Charles and I go and have a look at the house. Mike, I think, is gonna make the pasta dough and then we'll put the rest back together later. No, put the rest together later. In the meantime, we're gonna enjoy some fondue. So we're back. Mike made his dough, now we're going to roll it out and start making the cheese for the pasta. We'll get a small chunk. Wow. Yep, yeah, it's stuck to my fingers. Put on the hands first. Put on the rolling pin. And then you get my cheese. Ah, good after. If I get some flour on this thing and stop it sticking like it has been. Alright, so we have our first pasta sheet. Pasta sheet number one. So, boil the pasta sheet for a little bit. How long is that going to take, you reckon? Just for the pasta. There you go, nice big pasta sheet. The next step is to separate the meat from the bones. Alright, with a couple of forks, we'll uh, separate the bones out. Put the blocks of cheese in to make it melt instead. Then we'll scoop some ragu all around it. Oh my god, I'm nearly quite still and cutting nearly. Yeah, we'll sprinkle some. Blocks. So it looks a bit crispy on top. So let's see how it looks. So wow. It looks tasty. It does. It's rather sloppy. But it looks delicious. So it's pretty much a beef and cheese melt. I'm happy with that. I reckon that lasagna went all right. Um, probably could have done a bit better with the dough. It was rather thick and kind of crusty. 
uh, the cheese, I don't know why, but it just tasted bland to me. Um, other than that, went all right. Probably next time if I was doing it again, I'd start a lot earlier. I uh, had to go to work as well during the day, so that pushed it back. And didn't get to cook, slow cook the meat as long, which is why it didn't come apart as well. And it was bigger chunks rather than like falling off the bone meat, which is what I was hoping for. So the recipe I used is from Chef Tiago Silva. I think you can see it just behind me. Uh, I'll link that in the description. It's a really good looking lasagna when made right. So if you want to give it a shot, feel free. Also, I'm hoping the audio works better on this. As you can see, I've got a new microphone right here. Haven't tried it out yet, but I'm recording it on my phone. We'll see if that goes all right. Uh, I did try it out the other day under my shirt, but I think that caused a bit of rustling, so I didn't end up using it. So this time, I've got it sitting out like a microphone. Not sure how often I can, how often I can use it, because it's a bit awkward to set up. And finally, I think, I can't check at the moment because I've got no internet, but I think there's a few days left of my giveaway. So if there is, I'll put a link up in this corner back to the video. A link down in the description to enter it and yeah again thank you to Bebet Cross for suggesting this promised I would do it might have taken three weeks but it's finally happened no a month over a month but it's finally happened if you have any suggestions on what I should do leave it down in the comments uh, that's it for this episode of 29 I'll catch you guys later